<laughs> okay, I'm your Chinese teacher in DOD woman. Repeat after me. Ni hao. Ni hao. Wa ai ni. Wa ai ni. That means I love you. Ni hao means hello, how are you? Ni is you, how is good. But do you know that good is actually the combination between a woman and a boy? In ancient China, a woman was only good when she had a boy. But do you know that the shape of the woman is actually from the shape of a woman kneeling on the floor, bowing to her men? Today in DOD Woman, we are going to change this history. We are going to rewrite the definition of Chinese language. Okay, let's kick off. Where should I press? Oh, yeah. I grew up in a family when we don't buy artwork because we make them. This was done by my grandfather, who was the professor of ceramic art. This was done by my father. He is also a professor of ceramic art. My mother, she's a calligrapher. Between my parents, they made this. Even my children, my daughter, she made this before she turned 10 years old. My son, he made this before he turned nine. So from very early stage, I realized that I was the weakest link of the entire family. So I decided to study science, and I went to university to study biochemistry, and then after that, I did an MBA, and I founded my own internet company, and I had an e-commerce venture, and I did everything else except for recognizing my artistic talent, which I recognized that was not existing. And when I moved to the UK, I went to Cambridge to study again, and two years later, I came out with a degree in international economics and two babies. And two, a few years ago, I decided to take a sabbatical from my venture capital investor role. And during the sabbatical, I travel around the world. I went to the Colombian Amazon, Botswana, and I tried to figure out who I am. And at the same time, I also managed to spend more time with my children, and I wanted to share my love of Chinese culture and Chinese language, but they said no to me. How hard can that be? I tried everything. I said, OK, since I'm a geek, let me see what I can do. So I broke down thousands of characters on my computer, and I prioritized them. I studied the pattern. I wanted to know, is there any way I can produce a method, I can create a method which can allow people to learn Chinese much more easily. So it worked. So I started in my kitchen with the napkins, and I drew the characters, and I drew the, the shape, and I teach my children. From my children, I teach my friends. And very quickly, Ted asked me to give a speech last year in Long Beach, so I shared my private hobby, how I teach my kids at home. One person in the audience called Bill Gross, he has a blog on LinkedIn, and he was in the audience, and then he wrote a blog two hours after my speech. That was the first day of TED, and then uh, in the next two days, I was chased by 8,000 people on LinkedIn. <laughs> I said, can you share more? Is there anything? I said, no, it's my hobby. And then very quickly, uh, Forbes uh, also published an article. The editor was in the audience, so he talked about Chinese. And then the next month in May last year, Ted took my, put my, my talk on the internet, and very quickly I realized I need to do something. So I put a team together, and I put a website, and I put a Facebook, and very quickly I'm teaching every day on Facebook, and we have a weekly exam. We also have the monthly word search to help people to learn by having fun. We did a Kickstarter campaign last year. Really, is that because of capital? No, because we believe that it's a movement. We want to get people engaged. We want to get people involved. So for me, the agenda is actually beyond the language. I would like to provide a little door, a little step for anyone who wants to understand the beauty of this amazing culture, amazing language. I would also like to bring down the psychological barrier why we can't learn. We, we are supposed to learn on a day-to-day -day basis from the day we were born to the day we go to the tomb. So let's talk about something serious. Since I have an MBA degree, I need to make sure that you understand. I also understand that slides. OK, there are more than half a billion people in the world are native English speakers. More than two billion people in the world are learning English as a, as a foreign language. 
More than 1.3 billion people in the world are native Chinese speakers, but less than 100 million people in the world are learning Chinese. Why? Is that because they don't want to learn, or because they think it's very hard, or because there's nothing effective? I believe it's the latter too. So in this case, we have a problem. Now, as a geek, we find a solution. And Chinese is one of the many solutions I think could allow people to enhance their understanding, to promote their appreciation of this beautiful language. So we also try to understand. Since it's a social movement, we want to know who they are, where they are from, what they need. So throughout the whole journey, we try to know. Where where are they based? What they want from me? I'm like a magician. I can pull out a rabbit. I can pull out a giraffe. I can pull out a kangaroo. But you need to tell me: you want a giraffe or you want a rabbit? So we are very active, engaging with our fans, and we ask them what they want. I'm only a single person. I can make apps. I can make books. I can make flashcards. And at the same time, we try to make sure that we look after anyone with any social need, with any learning need. At the same time, we also make sure we make it a lot of fun. So instead of like having a classroom or like a one, one single app or web sign-in, we actually release most of our content for free out there, and we make it so playful, and we make it a lot of joy. We tell a lot of stories, and also in order to achieve that, we rely on our partners, and we create an ecosystem to have the Chinese or Chinese method or the design concept or the philosophy in education to have it penetrating to different places. It's not only classroom learning. And also, we utilize social media. We make it interactive, and we are very much engaged with our、uh, followers. And we make sure that we we have the active crowd. Then, when they can help each other, because some advanced people they can help the beginners. And without even trying, we were so privileged to be selected by the most、uh, amazing design. Organizations in the design industry. On Friday, we just、uh, been told that we were the winner of the best design of the year by the Design Museum in the UK. And for us, this is like an Oscar、uh, in design world. <laughs> Thank you. And we also are the winner of the Wallpaper Design Annual Design Award, Life Enhancer of the Year. And our amazing competitors were actually Google Glass and Singapore Airlines. And we are also supported by a lot of amazing organizations. The, the dream organizations、uh, I've never dreamed of I could work with, and also a lot of amazing individuals. But most importantly, for Chinese, is we are a community. We are a social movement. We would like to promote not only learning, not only sharing. We would encourage people to share their personal stories, not only in learning Chinese. There's、uh, why they are doing this and their motivation. Motivation behind anything is a crucial point from our point of view. And our fans, they also love sharing their art, and they share between them. Like some one of the pictures there, you can see that that's the school teacher in Rome, and she shared the, the work from their five-year-old class, and they create many more characters. So for us, learning is playing. And it's a community. Therefore, we would like to get people engaged, and at the same time, we promote understanding. Just like a story I told you, the shape of the woman, and then at the same time, there are many, many stories behind the language. So what I would like to do is actually、uh, here, right in DoD, if I have a wish, is I would like to wish one day we can all understand each other's language. Even if we can't be fluent, even if I'm still making mistakes with my English, at least I'm trying. I'm making an effort to appreciate what you care about. And Chinese, at the same time, is such a big language. It's such a deep, deep with the culture, with the etymology, with the amazing history. I would like to share with everyone, and this is the legacy I would like to leave to my children and to anyone who wants to understand and appreciate the beauty of this culture. But at the same time, I would also like to encourage you to share your own story. What is your story? Please share with us. And what I would like to promote is at the end of all this, is even if we can't speak each other's language fluently, we show the appreciation, and then we can then understand beyond what we say. Ni hao, xie xie. And this is just a very thin layer of the language. And this is my wish today. And I'm sure Steffi will make it come true. Thank you.